Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am so excited today. I am bringing you a makeup look inspired by Margot Robbie's look in the new Barbie movie. They played with makeup a lot in that movie from what I can tell in some news articles and I've done some perusing myself and created this look inspired. We're going to start off with a pretty neutral eye. It looks like from all the press photos I've seen um, and previews of the movie that she did do a more mauve neutral eye for most of the movie. So starting off with that Milani palette, it's the Gil palette. You can get that at the drugstore. Just kind of putting a more taupe shade in my crease with some camel tones to it. And then moving on to the Patrick Ta palette. This is his more mauve tone palette. Again, everything will be linked down below. And taking those very mauve shades and putting those right in the crease. Loving the way that turned out. Like I said, this is a very everyday look and very easy to pull off no matter what your outfit is. I think a lot of the focus from what I can tell in these news articles was on Barbie's skin. So I chose a glowy primer by Iconic London that will still blur pores and give us a smooth effect. Then a little bit of color corrector on those dark circles because Barbie is not tired. We're going to use the Huda Beauty color corrector. I love this new product. It is a really, really great color corrector. House Labs Foundation was the perfect choice for glowy skin and a long wear coverage that gives that doll-like perfection. Then moving on to the concealer and some bronzing, we've got the Huda Beauty Concealer setting while I bronze up the perimeter of the face. I use this Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer to give some glow and some life to the skin. I love that this product provides some contouring and some bronzing all in one while still being a very natural look. Then we're going to move on to a little bit of under eye setting with that Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom Powder. Once we have that set, we'll move on to the all over face with a couple of Maybelline products. I set the T-zone with Fit Me Matte and Poreless Pressed Powder, and then I set the perimeter with the Maybelline Loose Powder just to give some all over perfection definitely gave a smooth look to the skin while still allowing that glow to shine through. Next, we're going to add some more bronzer to the perimeter. That's going to be the Laura Geller Baked Bronzer. It has a little bit of pink in it and gives some more life to the skin. Not overly taupe, so perfect for this look. Next, the star of the look is, of course, going to be blush. Had to go with Max Floor Power. This is such a classic blush, but I also noticed that in the movie pictures, it looks like Margot Robbie has some blush across her nose, so we did that as a focus point of the face. Next, they said in the articles they really focused on her brows. They actually used a brow wig from what I can tell, which is really interesting. I am so intrigued by movie makeup artists and celebrity makeup artists hacks and tricks. So I really focused on my brows as well. I really fluffed them up because it looked like Barbie had very full brows in this movie. So we focused a little bit more on this than I typically would in a video, but I love the way these brows turned out. They're a little bit more bold than your typical brow would be. So if you can do that with your brows definitely changes the overall eye look and brings that focus back to the eyes. And I'm adding in some of my Lawless Hold Up Brow Set Wax. I love this stuff for every day. I think it goes really well even without an eyebrow pencil to fill in. Then we're going to do some light eyeliner. I used a gel eyeliner from Bobbi Brown in a smoky color. Again, it seemed like lips and blush were the focus of this look, so I kept the eye very, very simple. I'll have to watch the movie to see what other makeup tricks they used on her. But for now, we'll move on to lashes because we know Barbie has a bold lash. I used the Thrive Liquid Lash Extensions and then a little bit of shadow just to connect that liner line. And then set all over with a favorite setting spray. And grand finale is going to be lips. I read in the article that the makeup artist actually chose to match her lip color to her outfit. And it looked like overall the choices were a very uh, peachy pink natural lip. Reminded me a lot of MAC's Kind of Sexy, MAC Velvet Teddy, those kind of colors. So I chose MAC Peach Blossom over a rosy liner. This was such a fun video to make. It was so fun looking at all the pictures and reading all the news articles. Barbie so nostalgic for a lot of us and I'm really excited to see this movie. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe for more beauty content.